The people walking in darkness have seen a great light, and those living in the land of deep darkness, a light has dawned. The land of deep darkness. Sounds like a fairy story. Once upon a time, there was a land where people lived in deep darkness. Imagine where Hans Christian Andersen would take that. The people were sad for their trees and plants had withered. Travel was difficult and dangerous. They forgot what mountains and lakes looked like. And then one day, well, you can make the rest up yourself. But in a sense, that's what this writer is doing. In the land of deep darkness, a light has dawned. You can perhaps picture it Disney-like, a skilled animator depicting faces as people realize the darkness is ending. A bright light arrives. The animator who put these words together is writing about an event in the future. Centuries later, a Galilean tradesman announces to those willing to listen, I am the light of the world. And then he looks at a group of very ordinary people who have taken the risk and joined his movement and says to them, you are the light of the world. It all sounds fairy tale like, just the way we treat Christmas now, more cute story than of significance for life in contemporary Ireland. And yet, and yet, we live in dark times, confusion and uncertainty reign. Perhaps it's time to reconsider Jesus' teaching and claims, free from the institutional scaffolding that has so often distorted it for us. What better time than the middle of winter to consider again the words of the man who styled himself the light of the world and invited ordinary Joan and Joe Soaps like you and me to join his movement and ourselves become lights shining in the darkness. <laughs>